He's the president and CEO of TELUS International, a global contact center and IT outsourcing company with more than 25,000 inspired employees serving clients in over 35 languages from delivery centers across North America, Central America, Europe, and Asia. He was recently named Executive of the Year, receiving an esteemed International Stevie Award. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Jeffrey Purit. Thank you for the kind introduction. I get a tan back here. I'm very excited to be here for the first time representing TELUS International at the Webbit Festival. My task today is to strike that elusive balance between extracting value from our sponsorship and not boring you all to death. If you're still here listening at the end of my 15 minutes or perhaps just still awake, I'll consider the latter of my two objectives a success. So to get started, a very brief commercial. As some of you may know, TELUS International operates from over 20 sites in eight countries around the world, including four sites right here in Bulgaria. Excitingly, our newest facility, the TELUS Tower, will open its doors later this year in the heart of downtown Sofia. Our more than 25,000 inspired team members here and globally are delivering exceptional customer experiences for some of the world's most iconic brands from A to Z that include AOL, Google, Supercell, and Zynga. And that's what I'm here to discuss today, how to provide outstanding customer service in an increasingly digitized world, a world in which technology can either help or hinder a brand's ability to make those valuable, high-touch connections that inspire customer loyalty and drive top-line growth. So on the topic of technology, are there any Star Trek fans in the crowd? Any Trekkies here? Well, I'm definitely a fan, and I fondly remember watching Star Trek as a young lad, often marveling at how cool Captain Kirk's gadgets were and how much I wish they existed in the real world and not just on television. Fast forward nearly 50 years to today, and many of my childhood dreams have come true. For example, remember the universal translator that the USS Enterprise's crew used to decode what aliens were saying? Well, today Skype's online translator helps us communicate in eight languages for voice calls and in more than 50 while instant messaging. Or how about the personal access display devices? These handheld touchscreen computers look eerily similar to today's tablets, including their design and embedded keyboards. And remember the futuristic medical device used by Dr. McCoy to collect the real-time health information of humans and aliens? Well, a similar device, aptly named a tricorder after its Star Trek counterpart, has been developed in Canada to measure vital signs, diagnose medical conditions, and alert doctors to life-threatening conditions. Science fiction is truly coming to life. If you need further convincing, apparently humans have just recently been outnumbered by connected devices on the planet, which have grown from zero to 7.2 billion in just three decades. And they're reproducing at a rate five times faster than we are. Interestingly, as society progresses, we often turn almost automatically to technology over a human touch. But what trade-offs are we making when we default to technology? And what's the ultimate cost? From a consumer perspective, by replacing human interactions such as live agents with chatbots, computer programs like IPsoft's Amelia that simulate conversations or a salesperson with self-serve options, Sometimes it feels like we're quite literally losing touch. Elevated to a holistic customer experience perspective, when not used judiciously, technology is making it increasingly difficult for brands to create that all-important connection with consumers. Indeed, a recent study by Accenture found that 83% of consumers prefer dealing with human beings over digital channels when it comes to solving their customer service issues, prompting me to argue that we need to become more thoughtful and deliberate in how we're using technology. As in the Star Trek examples, technology can do amazing things that help humans to reach or even exceed our potential. However, its rapid pace of advancement, adoption, and permeation throughout our lives has left many of us hungry for a better balance and for more human connections. My belief is that when a company makes a human connection as opposed to a digital connection, it creates a completely different platform upon which to build and sustain a meaningful, long-term relationship with its customers. I believe this is where the opportunity lies. 
Over the years, successful companies have used stories to create human connections to their brand. And today's most successful brands are strategically and deliberately leveraging technology to strengthen those connections as opposed to degrade them. They're inspiring loyalty, creating passionate advocates, and ultimately driving their top-line growth by implementing omni-channel strategies, embracing artificial intelligence, and collecting and using big and small data in the right ways. So let's start with omni-channel. Simply put, omni-channel represents the evolution in customer service that empowers customers to interact with a brand via any media channel or device. Consumers can now be found regularly switching from an e-commerce website to a smartphone, to a physical store when conducting research and completing purchases. Indeed, the new retail environment is a consumerist nirvana where they can get whatever they want, however they want it, anytime, any place. Unfortunately, in many companies, these channels still often exist as silos, at best a multi-channel environment, and brands need to move towards a more connected approach to provide a truly universal and satisfying customer experience. Omnichannel is still a relatively emergent concept, but it's quickly becoming the new competitive imperative. According to a study by the Aberdeen Group, companies with an omnichannel strategy retain, on average, 89% of their customers, compared to only 33% for companies with weak omnichannel customer engagement. They also experience an increase in average transaction size. Successfully executing an omnichannel strategy requires technological sophistication supported by friendly personnel who can make the customer feel known as they engage across different channels by providing consistent contextual handling. Just imagine that you need a car loan. It's late at night, so you use your home computer and you research your bank's options. As you're browsing, a window appears asking you if you'd like to connect with a live agent. You select a video chat from the options and are immediately connected. The bank's cloud-based omni-channel platform tracks its customers across all channels and aggregates terabytes of data. So the live agent, let's call him James, already has your entire profile on his screen by the time he says, hello. James thanks you for being a customer of the bank for X number of years, and he asks if he can provide any additional information about their car loan policies and processes. You ask for help finding and filling out an application, and James easily guides you through the steps, providing the requisite information to submit your application in the morning. On your way to work the next day, you stop for a coffee, you use your tablet, and you easily fill out and submit the loan application. The bank receives it, and a clerk notices that you failed to provide a piece of information. She also sees that you had a video chat with James the previous evening, so she flags it for him to follow up personally, which he does immediately by sending you a text through the bank's app on your phone. You're alerted immediately and reply by clicking on the messages option to speak with a live agent. You're quickly connected and identified as an existing customer in the midst of a transaction. So your call bypasses the automated IVR system and is instead routed directly to James, who assists you in completing your transaction by phone. Later, you receive an email from the bank to notify you that the loan was approved. This is a perfect example of humans and technology working in concert across various channels to provide a seamless, personalized experience. Critically, when implementing an omni-channel strategy, you must also be cognizant of the need to adjust your key performance metrics. At the enterprise level, this can include swapping out unfriendly customer service metrics for more meaningful and human metrics. What's the best example here? Average handle time. It's the antithesis of a human-friendly metric, especially in the age of omni-channel, connected devices, and complex support requirements. Brands should instead focus on customer satisfaction and net promoter scores, likelihood to recommend, and first call resolution, which are all much better indicators of great customer service. When agents aren't rushing to end calls to meet unrealistic metrics, they have the time to fully address a customer's issues and own the customer experience from start to finish. In addition to omni-channel, another new trend and competitive differentiator emerging in customer service is the use of artificial intelligence, or AI. The ability of a machine, computer, or system to exhibit human-like intelligence is widely expected to represent the next frontier of computing. If there was any doubt, just think about how popular and prevalent intelligent assistants such as Apple, Siri, and Google Now are today in the consumer space, handling over two billion voice commands a week. At an enterprise level, AI can be deployed in the voice telephony channel or through web chat, text, and mobile applications, or to support social media customer care. But in order to keep AI high touch, 
companies will need to combine artificial and human intelligence. Here's another scenario to illustrate what's possible. You order a pair of shoes online. You pay extra for two-day shipping. When the day comes and goes with no delivery, you call the vendor, but are forced to navigate through an endless series of push-button options to provide your order number, indicate your reason for calling, and verify your mailing address. Eventually, you end up speaking with a live agent, but they don't know anything about you or your issue. It's as if none of the information you provided was recorded, and you're now forced to explain your entire problem from the start again. With human-assisted AI, the vendor would have been able to anticipate rather than react in this scenario. With an AI-driven platform in place, the delivery of the package would have been monitored, and the system would have alerted a live agent the moment it was delayed, giving the shoe company an opportunity to contact you proactively and offer a refund on your shipping costs or a discount on your next order. Or how about incorporating an AI virtual response system on the front line to manage minor customer issues and questions to reduce customer wait times? These new breeds of AI systems dwarf their predecessors, understanding different dialects and accents and talking to you like a, like, like a person would, asking questions, giving you answers, and making suggestions quickly and accurately. These advanced systems can also identify voice inflections to determine when there's an issue that should be escalated to a live agent. This is another great example of technology enabling a high-touch experience by helping brands engage with their customers to genuinely say sorry and to give them a second chance when something has gone wrong. Taking a step further, machine learning, the most powerful branch of artificial intelligence that enables machines to learn from data, can simultaneously examine the screens used and keystrokes taken by support agents during calls. These additional hundreds of thousands of data points will help identify customer issues and create an action plan to optimize customer conversations and customer service processes. And speaking of data, no, not that data. AI can help companies turn big data into actionable results. By leveraging its capabilities to quickly analyze massive amounts of information, it can provide valuable business insights from past customer activity. Because it's programmed to learn about your customers and your company, AI also has the ability to extrapolate information to identify trends and suggest ways to mitigate or even eliminate problems. The challenge with big data, however, is that it often requires a large investment in complex technologies and new analytics tools that can be cost prohibitive for many companies, especially startups. Small data, on the other hand, is readily available derived directly from one-on-one -on -one interactions with customers. Not surprisingly, Dimension Data's Global Contact Center benchmarking report found that the personalization of services supported by data analytics will be the top trend in the next five years. And live agents will be key in helping brands deliver by capturing customers' likes, dislikes, preferences, and values. As impressive as these technologies are, the future of AI and customer service is focused on directly supporting rather than replacing contact center agents. Because fundamentally, there are things we can do that machines just can't. Where machines have made very little progress is in tackling novel situations. They can't handle things they haven't seen many times before. The limitations of machine learning is that it needs to learn from large volumes of past data. Humans don't. We have the ability to connect seemingly disparate threads to solve problems we've never seen before. This is one reason why, according to IDC research, overall customer service agent numbers are anticipated to go up over the next two to three years, with many firms reporting an expected increase between 10 and 50%. Not only will we need more agents, we will see a need for more highly skilled agents who can solve more complex customer cases and provide cross-channel consistency of service. More than ever before, customer service agents are the key to providing a world-class brand experience. In fact, as the science of the customer experience continues to evolve with new technology and intelligent analytics, the greater the need is to provide a high-touch experience to truly win the hearts and minds of consumers. And critically, your high-touch customer experiences must have an exceptional employee experience as their foundation. As a whole, I believe the industry has been slow to realize that while you can surround your employees with the finest tools and technology, if engagement is low and attrition high, customer service will still suffer. Companies who are hyper-focused on creating a corporate culture that engages and inspires their teams 
are the ones who are successfully delivering outstanding customer experiences on a consistent and sustained basis. They know that their customer experience will never exceed their employee experience. At TELUS International, we offer all of the tools and technology expected from a world-class outsourcing organization. In fact, we expend more than twice our industry peers on capital as a percentage of revenue. We also know, however, that our team members are truly our greatest competitive advantage and that investing in them is a top priority. This is why we've cultivated a unique and caring culture, one that's driving an industry-leading 81% global engagement score and attrition rates that are often 50% lower than the competition. Our results have in turn led to better performance and increased top-line growth. We call this the culture value chain. And according to Frost and Sullivan, we can directly correlate our unique corporate culture with our industry-leading performance. Indeed, the financial implications of an engaged workforce are significant. Within one client account, we implemented individualized mentoring and enabled team members to use the client's product to build a healthier lifestyle, which drove engagement from 66 to 75% in just one year. Additionally, the account continues to maintain less than 2% monthly team member attrition, our customer satisfaction scores improved from 74 to 91% within just 15 months and have been sustained, and our clients' revenues have more than doubled year over year with increased profitability. It's no wonder team member engagement has become a business priority. While we continue to embrace the latest high-tech approaches to customer service, we never want to lose sight of surrounding our team members with what matters most to them. To this end, TELUS International invests in the well-being of our team members with on-site gyms, health clinics, daycare, and health insurance for team members and their families, including their parents. We also offer inspiring workplaces, relax areas with video games and other entertainment. For fun, we've got basketball courts, soccer fields, ball pits, and themed meeting rooms to encourage creativity and to channel our team's energy. In fact, our Bucharest site was recently named the most innovative office in Romania. We're also heavily invested in the development of our team members to provide long-term career opportunities rather than simply a job and a paycheck. They can learn and grow through TELUS International University, attending on-site classes to earn their degree at a subsidized cost while working. And most importantly, we recognize that our team members want to be part of something bigger. So we provide them with the opportunity to make a difference in their own communities through regular volunteer initiatives. By investing in the regions where we live, work, and raise our families, we're creating employment opportunities and a better qualified workforce, but also educating, housing, and caring for some of the most vulnerable among us. We call it outsourcing for good, and our efforts are unparalleled in the BPO industry. By creating such an exceptional employee experience, we've driven exceptional customer experiences for our clients, which have led to remarkable growth and success for our company. Notably, TELUS International earned a more than $1 billion valuation last year. We achieved year-over-year -year growth of 49%, and we've added more than 10,000 team members in the past two years alone. As customer experience becomes increasingly recognized as a fundamental competitive differentiator, even more so than the product in many instances, it has never been more important to find the right balance between high-tech and high-touch to attract, delight, and retain your customers. Whether you seek to accomplish this internally or look to develop a trusted outsourcing partnership externally, this is how brands will thrive today and into the future in the new age of the digitized customer experience. Now, if only we could crack the code on teleportation. Beam me up, Scotty. Thank you all for your time and attention today. I welcome the opportunity to answer your questions alongside the rest of my team at our TELUS International kiosk in the main tent. Blagodari, Aviv.